my breath. By Orpen Gallic. Orpen Gallic. Orpen Gallic belongs to the Netsilic Inuit, the indigenous communities such as Kyogaruk and Goja Haven, in Pelly Bay, Canada. An oral poet whose biography is not available. Orpen Gallic was identified and exposed by a Danish explorer, Nude Rasmussen, who travelled to Netlik country in Canada during 1923. Rasmussen thought Orpen Gallic as an interesting man, well at home in the old traditions of his tribe who possessed fertile wit. Orpen Gallic was an oral poet and considered his songs as his breath. He compares his songs to the comrades in solitude. The number of songs he has composed is not known as he used to sing in all occasions of life. My Breath Published in Eskimo Poems from Canada and Greenland in 1973 Poem from Inuit Tradition, collected by Rasmussen Nude and translated by Tom Lowenstein Poem was shared by Orpen Gallic to Rasmussen Was written during a period of despondency as a result of a long illness Reveals a strong emotional connection between hunting and sexuality. Summary The poem is in first-person narrative and the poet, Orpen Gallic shared the song with Rasmussen which the poet himself called My Breath. The poem opens with the poet saying that he is going to sing a little song for himself. He states that he has been sick and has turned weak like a child. The poet uses the refrain Unea, in each stanza which means brother. The poet is sad as he is not able to care his wife and says that his wife may go to another house as a refugee. She may have a man who will be her caretaker and she will be secure and firm like the thick winter ice. He is very sad as he is not able to protect her. He states the pathetic condition of the society where the natives are not able to survive. He states that he has no strength even to rise from the bed and so not able to protect her and repeats the refrain. The poet questions the listener about the fate and states that only little can be known about the fate. At present the poet is weak and fainted and cannot rise. Only his memories are strong which states that the past tradition is strong in his memories. Once he was strong to face any kind of obstacles in his way. He recollects the chasing of the beast and winning over it. He wants to live that life again and love to recollect the memories by forgetting the weakness he has. He recalls the act of bravery as he hunted a white polar bear. He says that the polar bear with its huge physic, and thought that it was alone a male, ran towards him. He was very strong to withstand even when it threw him down again and again till it get tired and lay down. He says that the creature forgot to think that he too is a man. The poet states the courage and will power of the men who were there to withstand the cruelties they have faced. He recollects the hunting of the seal during the early morning while his companions were in home, sleeping because they were faint from failure and hunger. It was an old male seal which was cunning, but was not able to withstand with him as he acted very fast to kill it. The poet states the protest and revolt he had once and that was his manner in dealing things. At present he lays feeble on the bench not even able to get a little seafood for his wife. The time will not stop and it runs as it gives way to dawn after dawn and seasons to pass. He questions how long he will lay there making his wife to beg for food and clothing. He states his wife as a hopeless and defenseless woman. He concludes that one may know only little about themselves and their future but time will pass without stopping. The poet has uttered the poem during long illness and recollects his passion for hunting and his achievements. Though highly regarded as an impressive hunter and strong archer, the old age and sickness has made him weak and helpless which time may bring to all human beings. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.